Hello everyone, my name is Joe and I'm an Engineering Solutions Manager at LEAP Australia. I want to take this opportunity to show you the teaching resources you'll get access to as part of your Granter EduPack license. The Granter EduPack approach to teaching material science is subject specific applications. This could be beneficial to lecturers teaching multidisciplinary courses, especially when there are a diverse group of students studying mechanical engineering, aerospace engineering, environmental sustainability, biomedical engineering, or even civil engineering, all attending the same course. As I already have the mechanical engineering teaching resources open in the separate tab, let's dive in. As we can see, we have a series of teaching resources, including lecture slides, industry case studies, and learning exercises. These resources are designed to complement the EduPack database so that students will become immersed into the world of material science while having the luxury of learning at their own pace. Some of these resources are open access and do not require an EduPack license. I'll include a link in the description so you can explore these libraries at your own pace and download some of the free open access content. Here is a case study I have downloaded on environmentally friendly beer cans. Starting with the brief, this leads to a discussion on how the different stakeholders have influence over the engineering decision process. This provides students with an insight into their future industry work environment, as well as some of the challenges they'll need to overcome. Here is a sample learning exercise from the teaching resources. We want to create a cooking spatula, which is heat resistant, cheap, high in tensile strength and non-toxic. This is where we go to the database and click on the chart select tool. I want to create a chart with melting point in the Y axis and price in the X axis. Let's filter out the more expensive materials. Already we can see we have 41 materials to choose from. This material here, concrete, has a high melting point, yet is also very cheap, so this could be a very strong candidate. Let's find out a bit more. Although already I can see we have a pretty heavy density, so this material has a density of 2,200 kilograms per meters cubed. That's not very ideal for a cooking spatula, which is handheld. We want something that's going to be a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to create another filter here. Let's say we don't want something heavier than 1,500 kilograms per meters cubed. Now we're filtered down to uh, 15 materials. So these are all possible candidates. Let's take a little closer look at polypropylene. So looking at polypropylene, the material is low in density, so it's light. It is cheap. The tensile strength is suitable for cooking. The melting point, 140 to 150 degrees, that should be fine. And the material is non-toxic. As a student is looking at all this data, there might be something they do not understand and they want to learn a bit more about. So they'll click on the I. This I icon provides a pop-up window with more information on some of the technical terms and goes into further detail. I hope this shows the ease of use and the practical approach to material science education in Granta EduPack. There are many other cool features that aren't covered in this video, but if you have any questions or would like to arrange a live product demonstration, please check the video description for my contact details. I thank you for your interest and I hope to hear from you soon.